once upon a time, there was a little boy. And he wasn't very good at school. He didn't know how to spell. Couldn't spell. He wasn't a very fast runner. But he had some good friends. Uh, and he had a sister. And his sister had a guitar. And his sister also had a friend. Uh, and this little boy fell in love with his sister's friend. She was, she was much more grown up than him. He was, let's say he was about 11. And she was 13. So she was really grown up. Much too old for him. But he fell in love with her anyway. And she played the guitar. And one day he heard her playing the guitar. And he thought it was the most beautiful thing he'd ever heard. And then she opened her mouth and she started singing. And he couldn't believe his ears. It was the most beautiful sound. And right there, he decided that he was going to learn to play the guitar. And he did. He got his sister to show him how to play chords on the guitar. And he learned how to finger pick. And this is the song that he learned to play first of all. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh. In Dublin, fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone As she wheeled her wheelbarrow Down streets broad and narrow Crying cockles and muscles Alive, alive, oh Alive, alive, oh Alive, alive, oh Crying cockles and muscles alive, alive, oh. She was a fishmonger, and sure t'was no wonder, for so were her father and mother before. And they both wheel their barrows down streets broad and narrow, Crying cockles and muscles Alive, alive, oh Alive, alive, oh Alive, alive, oh Crying cockles and muscles Alive, alive, oh She died of a fever And no one could save her and that was the end of sweet Molly Malone. Her memory wheels her barrow down streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles muscles alive alive oh alive alive oh alive alive oh crying cockles and muscles alive alive oh and once he'd learned to play the song he decided to pluck up his courage and go to his sister's friend, the one he'd fallen in love with, and play her his song. He was terrified, but he went and did it. And he played her the song. And she said, hmm, that's nice, and walked away. And he was heartbroken. He felt like it hadn't worked, that he'd done all this work 
For months and months he'd stayed in his bedroom and practiced his guitar and practiced the song so that he could play to her. And she just said, that's nice. So he didn't feel great. So he went back to his bedroom and he picked up his guitar and he realised that he loved his guitar. He discovered a passion for the guitar. So he saved up and he saved up and he bought a new guitar. And then he saved up and he saved up and he bought an electric guitar. And then he started writing songs and he got into bands with his friends. And then he discovered, when somebody asked him, he discovered that he was really good at showing people how to play the guitar. And he never knew. Just one day somebody asked him and said, oh, I like that. Can, can you show me how to do that? And he said, yes. And he sat down and he showed them. And they learnt really fast. And he really enjoyed it. And he realised he was a teacher. The end.